Hello, good people. It's Jan, and welcome to Just a Good Bits. These are birthday cards for my twin boys. Their birthday is the 29th of October. But these cards are a little different than your typical birthday cards. Let me show you. We'll start with Tony's. As you can see, a difference in my sons from Ma and Pa. This one's from Mom and Dad. <laughs> it's just he took up to calling Ma and Pa and that's... <laughs> anyway, so this is for Tony and they'll be 37 this year. And inside, and I wanted to also say, uh, majority of this is from the graphics fairy and um i will leave a link down below to the bundles that i used for these two cards so let's get going um one more thing i just scored in the center of the card i scored a quarter of an inch from the center. So, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, anyway, uh, Tony plays several different instruments, piano, guitar, uh, the bass guitar, I don't know. I don't know what all he plays. He's very much into the music scene. So, um, a large portion of his um, notepads inside or are um, different types of music, sheet music, blank sheet music, I should say. I also add in these cards, you know, um, different journal pages from Graphic Fairy. Actually, the outside of the card is is a journal page from Graphic Fairy. I think this is um, Sea Life, but it'll be down below. The link will be down below. Um, and the solar system, uh, Endless Skies, this is from Endless Skies. And this is sheet music that is um, totally blank other than the, the lines. And these are um, from, um, I think the 1700, um, music, sheet music from the 17th hundred. So, it's something like that. But anyway, like I said, it'll be down below. And it's just different on different types of uh, paper, which it's already, since it's an old copy, it's already discolored. So I didn't need to do that. It makes it really dark. But anyway, it just gives a little interest. This is from another one, Endless Skies, again. This is from one of Graphic Fairy's steampunk um, kits. So they've got I know, two or three different ones. Um, I really like, they, I like that. And there's, there's, I think, four different ones of, you know, these full-size pages. This one has music on a couple of them do. This had more than others. So that's why I went with that for Tony. And uh, they got a library card and a little tip here. When you, you, when you print out something like that, just turn it around and print something out on the back. This was sheet music from the 1700s. So this, and this is just a library card. It's just things for them to write on. And of course those are tags. And this is a, a experiment number. Um, I don't remember exactly where that's from, but I will locate it and put it down below. Uh, the only thing that isn't from Graphics Fairy are the pockets. This is actually from the um, Tombstone, Gravestone and Tombstone, I think is the name, or Tombstone and Gravestone, something like that. Anyway, cardstock, printed cardstock um, stack. So... I mean, you know, I just, this one is, and this is, and this is. I actually did a video 
on this stack and another Halloween stack, which it has these in them. Because their birthday is so close to Halloween, I didn't mention Halloween in them, but I just gave a little nod because there here's some little uh, tags. He's also really into the medieval scene, and there's this is from a um, graphic fairy. This is from the graphic fairy a bundle, a medieval bundle, and um, these are just different from different bundles these little card these are journaling cards and they're from a, another bundle and this um i just printed out their snowbirds on uh tracing paper and i mean it's really really cool i use these a lot uh not just the birds i print it out on a lot of things and add it to my different projects and this is a journal envelope and this envelope is from one of the steampunk um, bundles that they have on the Graphic Fairy. And I, the one, this is another one of those sheets I was telling you about. I just folded it up and put it in so he could write a letter to someone. And um, yeah, so... That's just, it's all blank for him to use as he want, as he want, wishes. So then I've got these two little, these I thought would make really nice little bookmarks. They're also from the printed card stock stack. This is, this one's from, oh, I think this one's from the tombstone. This may be from the tombstone one too, but it might be from the Halloween. It's really easy to get them confused. And that's just another little. You know, little things I stuck in there, the side pocket. So, yeah, that's that's his. And mostly his. And oh, and in the back, I showed you all that. I showed you all that. So that is Tony's. That's the back. Isn't isn't this really cute? I am just in love with the graphic fairy. Let me put it. Oh, I forgot this. In this, I, I used a dot, a Velcro dot, to for, as a closure. And in here is different stickers. This is, again, from Steampunk. Tony's really into Steampunk. And so is his twin brother, Chris. So I, I gave them this, uh, some stickers. I gave these are blank stickers. They got a good bit of these blank stickers. Who couldn't use these little blank stickers? But they, these shaped like this are all made for to be stickers. He's Tony loves watches. And I thought, yeah, it is a total um, no-brainer to put the watches in his. And then they've got little sayings. These are all stickers in here. So don't you just love these bicycles? Ugh, I love it love them and I didn't think they'd fit but oh I got them to fit he's got a bicycle I wonder if I put that in the wrong one <laughs> we'll see when I get over there but anyway that is Tony's so let me stick it back in there and you see how easy it shuts I don't need a closure or anything else and it looks size wise everything just like a birthday card but what a surprise when he opens it uh, Chris's, this is from the same bundle um, from the Graphics Fairy. And um, Sea Life, I think, is what the bundle is called. But like I said, there'll be a link down below. I almost started to write on here, and I'm like, no, he should write on that. The only thing, I wish I could find an envelope that I could stick on here. And you know what? I may end up doing that before I, let me turn this one over. This doesn't, I might put a little envelope back here. I don't know. I, you know, they're, they're twin brothers. They live, they don't live too far from each other in Chicago. And um, I want to keep them as, yes, yes, twins, even at 37. I want to keep them as much as alike as I can. <laughs> Again, Chris has these little 
foil graphics in there and this is the tombstone again from that tombstone um uh that again from that tombstone and why do i keep one say construction paper cardboard printed printed cardboard stack so he's got a little uh, this is made. I have a video on how to make these. I'll link that down below, along with the video of the tombstone and the Halloween stack, even though Halloween is almost around the corner. Now, Chris is, Chris's favorite book of all time is um, Through the Looking Glass from Alice in Wonderland. And so I naturally went, stuck some of that in here. And this is this is from, I don't think this one's Endless Skies. I think, I'm going to turn it up right side up. Anyway, this one is from um, some other um, sky, what is, I can't remember, Luna, Luna. It's Luna something. I will link it below. And he, this is a nod for Halloween again. That little tag. So, and he has a um, vellum bird, or I should say tracing paper bird, in his little envelope. The book markers. Got the book markers, and these also are just for whatever, just to show. Oh, look what I got! And here's. Here's his. He's got another one from the Steampunk and the card. And he has, I believe, the same. It's a different one. It's a different paper from the Steam, that Steampunk bundle. No, it is a, it, no, it's, it's different. This one is different, I believe. So, anyway, they both can write a letter on the back these are pretty big back sides so actually they could i don't know if they could get away with writing it on the front <laughs> but anyway so that's what is in his and then he's this is oh i don't know what that says rude something anyway these are for him he's been to paris he went to the louvre so jealous but he sent me a nice video of the outside i don't think you can video inside the Louvre, which for those that don't know, the Louvre is a um, art museum. And since I do oil painting, I'm, one of my wishes is to go there. I, I, I love this one. I don't remember the bundle. This is fun, but I will definitely hunt it down and put it in the link below. And these are just little notes. And because these were so small, I just left them a little bit large so they don't get kind of lost in in the um, little notebook here. Uh, this is from uh, Sea Life. Isn't that pretty? I'm pretty sure. And this this is from an antique antique papers, I believe is the name of it. And I, and it's was this long when I printed it out, so I just folded it. And like you, he can still make notes on it. There's, you know, there's very fine lines on here. But he got several of those. His is more diverse. Chris is, Chris is more diverse. This is from, um, I, I think, it's, I don't know if it's Sea Life or, uh, or another bundle. But this is the brushes page. And uh, Chris really, really loves octopuses, and so that's why I included that here with this octopus. And you're like, oh, you're, he's, they're going to see what you got him before, or what you made for him before, but they don't, they don't really have time. They're both really busy, so they don't really have time to look at my, or, or I should say, our YouTube channel, but, um, they wouldn't watch the craft ones anyway. <laughs> so I feel pretty confident I can put it up before they get it. They're not going to see it. This is another one of the solar systems. And this is just uh, 
uh, sauna system. It says S-O-N-N-E-N. -N -E -N. So that is the solar system, another language. And this is another one that's sea life. Anyway, so these are just, you know, he'll be going along, riding, and come across something else interesting. So he journals all the time. So, you know, he'll be, I think he'll, he'll really enjoy this. Tony doesn't so much journal. He has in the past. I don't think he is anymore. This is another one. Uh, and, and these, all these wonder, all these Alice in Wonderland items that I have in his little booklet is um, from Alice in Wonderland, the graphic fairy bundle, Alice in Wonderland. So, and he too got the cards. And on the back of that, I did the same thing. So you just want to print something out. This is a world map. Um, he has his little man on the bicycle is too big to fit in his sticker pack. So, but, and he, his isn't quite the same as Tony's. He's got words just like Tony and my main name is Bird, B-Y-R-D, and so I'm fascinated. I'm actually obsessed with birds. So they get birds in their bundles or little note things. And hat, and that actually goes in Tony's. <laughs> so I'll put it in Tony's. Let's see, these are all from the steampunk one of the steampunk bundles. See, Chris has two. Nope, he just has the one bigger one. So, uh, that. So, I, I hope they like the... I may look and see. Chris may have some of... Tony may have some of Chris's. So, I got to re-look at that and make sure it's all even. <laughs> but anyway... Um, that is the video for today, and I do hope that um, you enjoyed it, and it is very easy to do. Instead of making a birthday card, you can print out one of the many journal pages from uh, Graphics Fairy and just do a quarter inch scoring on the in the middle and turn it into a little notebook with pockets, with things that they like. So, or whoever you're sending it to will like. And it's so quick to do and so easy to do. And uh, it's just really a wonderful thing. Graphics Fairy, I highly recommend Graphics Fairy. Your free gift today is blank, tags and these are big tags large tags and as you can see here something you can do with it before you cut it out paint paint them how you like it let them dry and then cut them out i would suggest uh i haven't painted the backs of these yet i went ahead and cut them out so you could see them but i wouldn't suggest you um cutting them out until you paint the back as well. If you're gonna paint them, but if you, you know, whatever you do with them, enjoy them. And thank you. Please subscribe, like the video, even if you just like the printout, like the video. It really helps my algorithm. And if you wanna, um, if you are wanting to be notified, of my videos, upcoming videos, ring the bell. I will appreciate it. Bye for now.